Now for this question, we're asked to expand 2 minus 3x to the power minus 2 up to the term in x cubed by using the binomial theorem. So how do we do something like this? Well, I'm assuming that you're familiar with the binomial expansion or binomial theorem. It goes something like this. You'll generally see this kind of formula then in formula books and textbooks where we've got 1 plus a to the power n is identical to 1 plus na plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times a squared and plus and so on. Now to use this formula needs, we need to have a 1 at the front here and you can see that in our example here we've got a 2. So we need to change it to this format. And to do that, we just pull out a 2 in front of a bracket. And so to get this 2 here, we need to multiply the 2 with a 1. So that creates our 1. But for the next term, we've got minus 3x, and we need to divide this by 2. So that 2 times minus 3x over 2 gives us the minus 3x. And then all of this is to the power minus 2. Now when you have it at this stage, we can say that this power can now be put on the 2 and on this bracket. So we've now got 2 to the power minus 2 multiplied by 1 minus 3 over 2x and that 2 is to the power minus 2. And 2 to the minus 2 is 1 over 2 squared, or in other words, a quarter. And now we're in a position to expand this bracket using the binomial expansion formula. You can see that n is minus 2, and a is minus 3 over 2 times x. So if we put this in square brackets, according to the formula then, we've got 1 plus n times a. So n was the minus 2, and a was the minus 3 over 2x. So put those in brackets like so. And then plus n times n minus 1. So it will be minus 2 multiplied by minus 3, if we take 1 away from the minus 2 there. It's all over 2 factorial. 2 factorial, remember, is 2 times 1. I'm just going to write it in as 2 times 1. And then we've got a squared, so that's going to be minus 3x over 2, all squared. And our last term, because we've got to expand it up to the term in x cubed, will be n, n minus 1, n minus 2. So we've got n, which is minus 2, subtract another one from that, so that's minus 3, and subtract another one from that, that's minus 4. And it's all over 3 factorial, in other words, 3 times 2 times 1. Multiplied by what is a cubed is now minus 3x over 2, all cubed. And don't forget, we've got plus and so on, okay? Even though we've got to go up to the term in x cubed. We now need to just tidy this up, and we'll expand it as well. No, I won't expand it, actually. I'll just leave the quarter out the front. If we leave the quarter out the front, then what we've got is 1 here, and then we've got a plus, because minus times minus gives us the plus. The two twos cancel, just leaving us with the 3x. When it comes on to this term here, you can see that the 2 and the 1 cancels out into the minus 2, minus 1 times. So what we've got is minus 1 times minus 3, which is 3. We've got 3 squared, which is 9. 9 threes are 27, so you're going to get plus 27 over 2 squared, which is 4. And then you've got the x, which is squared. So 27 over 4 x squared. When it comes on to this term, 3 times 2, which is 6. That cancels into minus 2 times 3, which is 6. 
When we've got the 2 that is cubed, 2 cubed is 8, and I can see that I'd be able to cancel the 4 into the 8, just leave me with a 2, and we've got the 3 that is cubed, so that's going to be 27. You're actually going to end up with a plus again, and it's going to be 27x cubed then over 2. And then we've got plus and so on. Expand the bracket out by multiplying now with that quarter, and you've got a quarter times 1 is a quarter. 3x times a quarter is 3 quarters x. And then for the next term, the x squared term, you're going to get 27x squared over 16. And then we've got plus a quarter times 27x cubed over 2 gives me 27x cubed over 8. And plus and so on, even though we've got to go up to the term in x cubed. Alright, so there you go, the expansion, the binomial expansion of 2 minus 3x all to the power minus 2.